First up is finalist number one, Pamela Afitetti from Hiroshima University. The presentation title is Surviving Global Boiling. So, Pamela, please start. What would you do if you had superpowers to reduce the effects of high temperature on your body? Climate change and its associated temperature increase is fast affecting our environment before our very eyes. These temperature changes do not only occur to life on land, but also to life below water. According to the International Panel on Climate Change, global temperatures are expected to increase by 2 to 4 degrees Celsius by the year 2100. It is jokingly said that such an increase in temperature will take us from global warming to global boiling. What then would happen to life below water if global boiling occurs? I'm sure you are thinking about it. So am I. As global warming is on the rise, I'm concerned about which aquatic organisms can survive as temperature increases and what is serving as the superpowers for their temperature tolerance. In addition, I want to know how these superpowers can be transferred to help others that cannot survive when temperatures increase to prevent them from going extinct. Moved by the Sustainable Development Goal, SDG 13, which involves urgent action to combat climate change, and SDG 14, which focuses on conservation and sustainable use of life below water, my research team and I are studying the tolerance levels of some aquatic insect larvae known as chironomids to high temperature. Why chironomids, you may ask? Chironomids can grow, cool and reproduce while reducing the effects of heat. To achieve this, we expose different species of chironomid larvae to varying intensities of high temperature and identify which one has the highest tolerance. Our result so far has found a promising larvae known as the hot spring larvae or onsen eucerica in Japanese. Our current findings have revealed that the onsen eucerica can survive temperatures as high as 50 degrees Celsius. With this, I try to find out which genes are serving as superpowers to help them have such a high tolerance compared to others. I then try to find the expression level of these genes, whether they increase or decrease in response to temperature. Also, I transfer them to other larvae to boost their tolerance. Through this, I am able to confirm that these superpower genes were initially helping the onsen eucerica and can help others as temperature increases to survive global boiling. Thank you. Thank you.